My name is Nora Peterson and I'm a sports scientist. I work at the Space Medicine Office at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne since more than 15 years and I have supported a lot of European astronauts on their mission to the space station, providing exercise and countermeasure regimens in order to prevent muscle and bone loss and to maintain physical fitness in microgravity. Gravity is a strong force that is with us all the time, but we don't realize it because we are used to it. However, if gravity is gone, then the sensors in the body realize that the gravity pull is no longer working and a lot of systems in the body get out of balance. Therefore, for example, astronauts in the first day on the, on the space station see the puffy face because blood and a liquid lymph liquid gets pulled upwards towards the head until the body regulates this and normalizes the blood pressure again. However, this is an adaptation mechanism that happens only in space. It needs to be re-regulated once astronauts are coming back to Earth. The same happens also with muscles and bones. Muscle and bone usually used to move around in a gravity field, acting to forces and carry weight, are no longer needed in space because the astronauts are floating. Therefore, astronauts need to train every day to maintain and to remind the systems to keep all these functionalities because the body needs to be able to return into a gravity field. And this is why we perform the daily exercise countermeasure training for the astronauts, to remind the body that bone and muscle are still needed in an Earth life. Muscle and bone need to be worked and need to be trained in order to be strong and to maintain strong. This is even the case on Earth. And people that don't work out regularly usually suffer from health problems that are related to immobility and also to weak muscle and weak bone. So even on Earth, if you don't work the muscles, it impacts your health. And on space, this effect is much stronger. So this is why it is so important that the training in microgravity is implemented. SNR spend a lot of time training in classrooms and also in simulators to learn the theoretic background, but also to learn hands-on how to deal with the different systems and how to react quickly. But also how to prepare experiments accordingly so that the science quality is still sufficient for the standards here on Earth, because they are the only ones that can implement these experiments on the space station. In the last week before their flight to space, the crew members are isolated from most other people in order to prevent them traveling sick or to bring any foreign germs or anything undesired to their crewmates on the space stations. Since the crew that is on the space station is due to the isolation also more vulnerable to external and foreign germs. So they have to deal also with this isolation, which I guess we have learned by now as well was how difficult this can be sometimes, in order to protect themselves against these intruders. So it is mental and physical preparation that is really important for the astronauts in order to prepare for the mission and to be ready for any event, even scenarios, because they need to be on their own, able and capable to deal with this on the spot and to be also able to have the return to Earth afterwards. Astronauts are preparing for dealing with confinement and extraordinary at um, external conditions, for example, by performing expeditions in caves or in submarine stations like the Nemo in Florida. In this case, they learn to be highly self-efficient and autonomous even if help is far and they need to be able to do their work even under difficult circumstances. How will the preparation change once the missions get longer and farther away from Earth? Definitely the organization of the missions will be different for these kinds of exploration missions. For example, the communication will be much longer between the spaceship and the ground. It can, depending on the distance, take several minutes until the answer can be expected. So this needs to be organized also in the way how the crew is communicating and organizing their work. Also, the space vehicle will be much smaller compared to currently on the space station and the astronaut need to be well trained on the devices that will be available on these small, on these small space stations um, and very skilled and knowledgeable to use them to the full extent to get the maximum benefit for the body to protect against the effects of microgravity which will be still as strong as they are currently now. Being on a space station is still a very protected place 
the Earth is near and in case of an emergency, the crew could be quickly evacuated to Earth and return within a couple of hours. At the same time, the space station is still within the Earth magnetic field and protected from the cosmic radiation, which would be different for a trip to Mars. Because the radiation in strong dosages can be dangerous for our body because it may destroy or even alter um, body cells and can cause DNA changes or cancer. So therefore also here technology, technology solutions need to be found in order to protect the body from these high radiation dosages.